This is the Thank You Ocean Report, and I'm Jerry Kay. On this report, we're focusing on stormwater runoff pollution. And admittedly, for most of the state, there have been all too few storms where we can actually see that water run off. But with fingers crossed, hoping for more rain, here we go. Stormwater is rain that runs off of our streets and other hard surfaces, and it flows downhill into rivers, lakes, streams, ultimately ending up in the ocean. And the important thing to remember is that it is not treated or cleaned through that process. Bridget Hoover is the director of the Water Quality Protection Program for the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. She's talking about all kinds of stuff that accumulate on our roads during a dry period and then gets washed out during a storm. It can be oil dripping from our cars, chemicals that we apply around our homes and on our lawns, including pesticides and fertilizers, trash, anything that the water can pick up and carry with it in the process, taking it to the ocean. And believe it or not, scientists are still finding evidence of previously banned pesticides, such as DDT and PCBs in the ocean. These chemicals can bioaccumulate in marine mammals, such as sea lions. And then the orcas ultimately eat the sea lions, and the female orcas then pass on those PCBs and DDTs to their babies, so it continues through the food web. Bridget says there is a lot we can do on our own to help reduce stormwater runoff pollution. What I usually tell people is just to look around your home and your workplace and try to identify ways to minimize the amount of pollution that can exit those areas. And whether it's picking up trash, picking up after your pets, keeping things around your home tidy and out of the environment. The other thing is to try to minimize the amount of rain that actually leaves your property. And this is good even these days in the drought, where if you can face your downspouts into a garden or on the lawn, that way the ground absorbs that water and it creates kind of a natural cleansing effect. And it doesn't run down the street carrying these pollutants into local storm drains. And one more suggestion from Bridget support our local cities and stormwater ordinances. In California, we have very old infrastructure. Our sewer systems, our storm drain systems, some of them are 100 years old, and they really need to be upgraded and fixed. And so we need to support our local cities in making those infrastructure improvements. Our thanks to Bridget Hoover. Now, here's your Thank You Ocean Everyday Action. Properly dispose of household products that contain chemicals, such as insecticides, pesticides, paint, solvents, and used motor oil and other auto fluids. Don't pour them into the ground or into storm drains. We have more information for you at thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.